Hi guys, I'm just going to show you how to format the report that just came out of CJR3 for Hawaii. So, um, one of the best things to do quickly is just to click at the very top there and double click uh, where the cursor turns into. Have a look. See how the cursor turns into a double arrow in between the two lines? You double click in there and it just adjusts all the columns automatically to fit the data. Yeah? So I, I do that normally straight away, you can do that, then you can delete the top three lines, not needed, it's just, it just tells you when you've downloaded the report, you can delete that, uh, you can delete these first two columns, don't need that, and you can download, you can delete this, um, well you can actually leave those lines in there. So the report in here looks in Excel exactly the same as what it was looking before, yeah? Um, so you can see each one of the areas, like, you know, uh, coordinating editing freelancing, which is this one, it's total down there, yeah, and so forth, freelance editing is total down there, in-house mapping is total down there, etc., uh, etc., et yeah. So if you go down to the bottom, you know, and you, you saw, like I showed you before, you can see at the top the different headings, you can actually turn those headings if you want into a bold. Um, and you can, um, if you want, freeze the paint. So you click on there, freeze paints, and that means that the headings stay on top. And you can, that, you know, scroll down all the way to the bottom, and you'll see all the bits and pieces: image costs. Uh, you see in her other editorial, um, freelance author fees. You'll see um, commissioning editor tasks. And then at the very bottom, normally before you actually get to the totals, you start seeing things like in had indirect labor you'll see things like overheads you'll see US transfer pricings uh, you see segment and series charges there are <coughs> the charges we've put before uh, you see uh, indirect labor for different parts different pools of people more overheads transfer charges etc etc now I'm not going to go into explaining exactly what each one of these things are but you can Rest assured that this is something that finance service pays a lot of attention and makes sure that this is correct for each one of the projects. So then you see a total number of dollars at the bottom here, a uh, total number of hours, and you see it translated into Australian dollars, uh, pounds, and US dollars. Now, um, again, I'm going to leave this up to finance to actually explain what each one of these things are. You have a vague idea of what the segment charges, indirect labor, overheads, etc. are. Um, it's all there for you. Um, a lot of the times what you need to do is you actually need to exclude that data if you want to just have a look at the hours on the book on particular parts of the project. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to download this in a different way in a second so you actually can get a different kind of report that you can manipulate a little bit more. But this is a way to get it into Excel and then highlight columns, delete stuff, etc. So manipulate the actual data.